In this video, we are going to discuss types of data under big data. So, you know that we are going to handle huge amount of data under this big data and that is why it has become a subject. Now, we are having mainly three category of data will be coming here. One will be our structured data, another one is the unstructured data and the last one will be the semi-structured data. Structured data means that very data which can be represented in the form of rows and columns and that is known as the structured data. As an example, we can say that the respective web blocks, the different data which will be generated by the sensors and say if we do any survey on our population, we will be getting our structured data. Structured data is having the example of database. In case of unstructured data, the data will be in the form of say data files, PDF, images, videos or the images sent by the uh, satellites and different machine generated data or the videos will be treated under the category of unstructured data. So, that is also a huge type. Structured data nowadays we are having 20 percent, but unstructured data is nowadays is having almost 80 percent. In case of semi-structured data, to some extent it is structured, to some extent it is unstructured. As an example, we can be discussing say XML files, JSON files and so on. So, they will be falling under the category of semi-structured data. So, let us go for further discussion on this very topic. The big data are categorized into three different types that is the structured data, unstructured data and semi-structured data. So, let me discuss each one of them one by one. So, at first we are going for this database. You can find that this is a good example of a structured data. We are having certain columns. So, there is the employee number, name, age, department and salary and here we are having the respective rows containing the respective information. So, here we are having the records and here we are having the columns. So, structured data are those type of data which are stored already in an order and there are nearly 20 percent of the total existing data nowadays and these data are structured. And all the data generated from sensors, web blocks and these all machine generated structured data. So, these are the machine generated structured data, there is a web blocks, there is our sensor data and so on. The human generated structured data are those which are taken as information from a human like their names, addresses, gender and date of birth and so on. So, the example of structured data is database. So, now let us concentrate on the unstructured data. So, this is the unstructured data. So, the unstructured data have no clear format in storage and we can store structured data in rows and columns database, but unstructured data cannot be stored like that. So, unstructured data cannot be stored in the form of rows and columns. And we are having at least 80 percent of the data nowadays existing which is which are unstructured. All satellite generated images, scientific data or images are categorized as machine generated unstructured data. So, the images which will be sent by the respective satellites can be treated uh, falling in the category of unstructured data. There are various types of human generated unstructured data and these are the images, videos, social media data, etc. So, the example of unstructured data are the text documents, PDFs, images and videos etc. So, this is the theory or this is the concept against this unstructured data. So, now let us come to the last category that is the semi-structured data. So, it is very difficult to categorize this type of data sometimes they look structured and sometimes they will be looking as unstructured. So, that is why these data are known as semi-structured data. We cannot store this type of data using traditional database format and but it contains some organizational properties. And examples of semi-structured data are spreadsheet files which we have in our excel, in our calc, we are having the spreadsheet files. So, spreadsheet file is a good example of semi-structured data. We are having the xml or json documents that is a java script object notation. So, extended markup language that is a full form of xml and no SQL database are the data items which are falling under this unstructured data. So, NoSQL is, a, is a one kind of database where we can keep this type of data in a very efficient way. So, in this video, we have discussed that what are the different types of data that big data is going to handle. Thanks for watching this video.